As you may have seen in other videos, the side of my car, uh, the tune port injection is painted. And uh, that's not a particularly hard thing to do, but I kind of thought I'd show you. Every time I take my car somewhere, somebody asks, especially if they have a C4, of how I did it, you know. Uh, and it's pretty simple, and you can make it any color you want, of course. And mine, as you notice, it's red to match the rest of my trim that I did on the car. But you don't need me any products here to do it, so let me show you what I use to get that to done. First thing we probably will use, uh, especially if your car has been waxed and it's polished and so forth, on your belt there will have the indented letters there, and they may be full of wax and, uh, and just debris in general. So you want to clean them out. The little alcohol mix with this water will take away any waxes that you have in there so the paint you're putting on there will stick. Um, so you can make that out of just regular uh, alcohol, house alcohol, with a little water, and you don't need to overdo it. You're only going to put it on the belt anyway. The other thing you need, of course, is the paint itself you know, picking the color you want. You don't need a lot of paint, so you can use these little uh, containers here. It works well. And I have, I put it in red, white, and black because I've used it in different spots around the car. The other thing you need, of course, is a brush. Now, the brushes, of course, are going to be a small, small tip. Uh, and these small tips help you to put the paint right inside the lettering. The lettering, of course, is indented, so we're going to fill that indention uh, with these little tips and that way there's not more more paint going around it than we actually need. That's pretty easy and very easy to come by. All, this ball can come to any little hobby store if you don't already have it. <clears throat> the other thing we need is we're going to need um, brake clean. Now, of course, you got to have brake clean. You can't be one of the guys without brake clean in your garage. And you're going to use a little bit of that on a rag. Now, not a microfiber towel because remember these letters are indented into the belt as it goes around the car. So these indented is what we're counting on to be able to wipe clean after we fill them up with paint. But this will pull the paint out of that indention. So we don't want to use anything that has a lot of um, material on it. But we will use this. This is a Scott's clean towel, the same kind of towel that I use to clean my hands when I'm walking out of the garage. Um, and if they're real thin, number one, they're not fuzzy at all. So when I use this with the uh, the, uh, the brake clean in the credit card, which is what we do is we take the credit card with the brake clean on this and we wipe it across the letters. And I'll show you that in just a minute. <clears throat> and you see this will wipe off only what you want it to wipe off and not dig into the letters that you just painted. So that's about all there is to it. But we're going to go over there and I'll show you uh, how I did mine. And you can show how easy it is so you can do yours uh, in any color you want, of course. Okay, once you got everything set up and you're ready to go, you might take this alcohol and water, spray a little bit on the cloth here, and then on the, this happens to be microfiber, but we're going to put it only on the belt there and just over the letters. Now, see, mine's already been painted, but still, if I'm going to do it again here to show you for demonstrations. Uh, the other thing we need to have ready, of course, is the paint. Uh, have it loose, maybe already uh, mixed up so it's ready to go in that regards and we get our brushes ready now I'm going to pick the smaller of the two I can test it right here to see yeah that'll work pretty good and we'll try it and then I also have the rag here and my credit card and you can see I did this before my credit card here ready to go I've already sprayed some brake clean on it it doesn't take a lot and it holds pretty good for what we're doing here and that brake clean is what helps release the paint so it can come off where we don't want it to be. Okay. Okay, I'm going to dip, dip that in there. Not a lot of paint. Now I'm going to go over the T here. I'm going to go over the T. I might even try the U at the same time. Sometimes that works good. Now, the key is taking this. Now I'm going to go towards the letters that I haven't done yet, and I'm going to run right across the top. Right across the top. Now see that they're getting a little smear. When you get a little smear, run that run it down a little bit. Nice. Okay. It's a little harder to tell here because it's already red. 
but but actually it did brighten it up a little bit. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do the next one. I'm going to dip it again, and we're going to go to the end. Now I'm holding as steady as I can, and I'm going to go put that into the end. Now it's a little harder to tell because I've already got it red, but we are doing it. And I'm going to take this on the very edge is where I want to run this across. And you see as I do that, it takes it off and leaves only the paint inside. Now the D looks a little, not quite as bright as the other because I haven't done that yet. I'm going to do the D. I need a little more. There we go. I might be too much. A little paint, just like you're painting anything else. I've got a lot on there. Okay, now I'm going to set this down, and now I'm going to try to take that excess paint. See, that's quite a bit of paint right there, more than I'd like, but that will come right off. And you notice I'm kind of going up on this? I am going up, let me get in the camera here. I'm going up as on this, so I'm not streaking the same exact spot. And now I notice in between there, now at any time during this, you can add a little bit of this on a, on a clean spot. Add a little bit of the brake clean on a clean spot. Even turn the over. Look at that. We cleaned that whole thing up and that was uh, overdone on purpose. But anyway, that's how you do it. You keep going and you go all the way across. Okay, hopefully that gives you the idea of how to do this. Don't be worried about it because you can clean it up real easy. Now you could open the hood if you want. It gives you a little more room at the top if it makes you nervous. And uh, you could tape on both sides of this so you wouldn't hurt anything. But if you do it just like I said, use the credit card, use it on the edge, use the, the brake clean, dampen that with brake clean. I say dampen, don't have to be soaked and then run across the letter after you do it and run it towards the next letter. Uh, typically that would work a little bit better. But it's easy to do. You can even change the colors on it. And it just got a lot of creativity when you can be able to paint the injection, the tune port. It just makes it stand out, works out really well. Hopefully that helps. It's something to make your vet just a little sharper. Now here's a little bonus for you. I did the exact same thing with the license plate cover that you have for your front of your, of your Corvette. I use it here as a decoration because I don't have it on the vet very often. And so I thought, yeah, I'll leave it on the wall for a decoration. And I did the exact technique we did there. Maybe a little bigger brush, but the credit card sweeping with the brake clean did a super job. You have to be a little more careful there with the brake clean because it's painted all around it. Now I did that same technique with painting the side. I did it with my oil dipstick and it came out really pretty good. So you could put again, match the color of your car or the, maybe bring it back to kind of a cream white, whatever was in there. And uh, it works great, looks good. A little, a little touch, oil, weighed up where it should be. The way we like it, there we go.